Hello everyone, welcome to the Mike Tudor Cantonese channel. So in this lesson, we're going to talk about common Cantonese words that you will use um, in which every beginner must know. And we will cover the words that are associated with the Chinese characters of at once, back, as well as big. Now, please note that the things that you will learn in this lesson will be uh, uh, reflected in our Android app in which we will have a sophisticated flashcards and quizzes that will cover the material that we will talk about in this lesson. So let's get started. The first character that I want to talk about in this lesson is at once, in which the Cantonese uh, uh, character is pronounced zik. Zik. And the me meaning behind this character is a prompt at once, at present, even if, or being prompted by the occasion. Now, the word zik is seldomly used uh, individually, so it's usually being attached um, with other characters to form meaningful words. So for example, the first one that I want to talk about is zik hai. Zik hai, in which uh, the meaning behind it is means exactly or precisely the case. Now, of course, you could also append another character to it, which is wa behind zik hai, in which the meaning would be that is to say. And how to pronounce this together would be zik hai wa. In which this means that is to say. Now, if you want to say immediately in Cantonese, you would then uh, say zik ha, zik ha, in which uh, the meaning behind zik ha is immediately. Now, to put more confusion into this is that there is another Chinese word that is uh, pretty much have the same meaning and we use interchangeably. So instead of zik ha, we sometimes would say zik si, zik si. And that also means immediately as well. Now, if you wish to uh, review this set of words in our app, please refer to the flashcard deck with the name words with at once to study this material within the app. The second character that I want to talk about is the character uh, how. How. And this character means back, behind, rear, afterwards, after, or later. Now, if people wants to uh, wants to say, um, for example, sometimes you would want to say, uh, 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 keep on saying back, back when people are uh, parking or uh, trying to rear into a parking spot. Then sometimes in Cantonese you would say how, how, how. So this uh, this uh, character could be used in that instance. Now, of course, this character, like all Chinese characters, can form in combination with other characters to form meaningful words. So, for example, if we add the character loy in the back, then we would say how loy, how loy. And this means later or afterwards in Cantonese. You could also say how may, how may. And this means behind or end. Now, for example, if you want to refer to the backlight of a car, then you would say how may dang, how may dang, which means the backlight of a car. Now, if you append the character sang uh, after the uh, character how, then you would have how sang. How sang, or you could more or so pronounce it as how sang, how sang. This is more uh, 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 colloquial or more actually um, relaxed, uh, 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 informal pronunciation. How sang, and that means young or the young generation. Now, if you want to uh, uh, refer to a young person or a young boy, 
then you would say 后生仔后生仔 Now of course this refers to a young male person. So if you want to Uh, refer to a, uh, a young female person, then you would say 后生女，后生女。If you want to,、uh, if you append the word、uh, or the character 娃、uh, uh, after 后 then you would have 后娃，后娃。And this means something to be taken up later in speech or writing. And、uh, lastly, another uh, another uh, uh, thing that you more used than how may is how me, how me, which means behind as well. But it's more commonly used to refer to uh, 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 the direction. So, for example, if I say、uh, you're be、uh, you're behind, which means the back of you, then let's say lay how me, lay how me, which nay. Refers to you, and how me refers to behind. And if you want to refer to、um, or to study the the words of or, or characters that I just talked about, please refer to the flashcard deck within our Android app with the name of Words with Back. The last character that I wanted to talk about in this lesson is the word big, or Die in Cantonese. Die. Now, of course, there are、uh, other combinations of the word "die" to express many different things in the Cantonese language. So, for example, if you append the Cantonese character "yan" or "human" in Cantonese, or what we say "die yan," this means an adult. So, this. Uh, 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 just means a big person,、uh, uh, literally. But sometimes, but mostly, you would refer the,、uh, the word adult to dai yan. This you can also actually refer to a senior person or uh, 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 an important person, like、um, uh, uh, your、uh, a judge within the court as dai yan, as well. Now. Another thing that I could append uh, uh, right after the character die is the word lo, and this usually refers to informally, informally to your boss. So the、uh, the word die lo means your boss or big brother. So, for example, if I if if you are within the triads.、Um, And if you want to refer to your、uh, uh, uh, boss, then you would say "dai lo," "dai lo." Or if you want to refer informally,、uh, your big, your bigger senior brother, your real brother, then you would, you could also say "dai lo" as well. Now, if you append the character "lei"、uh, with "dai," then you have "dai lei," which means A、strong or a muscular. If you say "dai gil," it means you want to call out loudly. Now remember, I say "dai lo," which refers to、uh, your big brother, right? So another, another way to say your oldest brother is "dai go," "dai go." Now this can be referred to as a gang leader as well, but it is. Less likely used than "die low," so "die low" is more commonly used, and it's usually less formal than "die go." Now, another thing is you could also put two big characters into a word, which is "die die," and this basically enforces that it is greatly or extremely or far more. So, for example. If I want to say extremely increased, then I would say "dai dai tai sing," "dai dai tai sing," which "dai、uh, dai" of course means extremely, and "tai sing" is increased in Cantonese. Now, if you want to say a、uh, uh, university in Cantonese, then you would say "dai ho," "dai ho." 
and if you want to say everybody or everyone uh, within like let's say if you want to address a group of people uh, uh, everyone in the group of people they would say tai ga tai ga which means everybody then you have the word tai siu tai siu which means size or proportions but a lot of times you would probably more commonly hear this as tai sai tai sai which means the same thing as well if you want to refer to a large building or skyscraper uh, or you know the 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 tall buildings that you live in hong kong then you would say tai ha tai ha if you want to say a lot of something then you would say tai ba tai ba so if you say um, you have a lot of money then you would say tai ba qin tai ba qin if you want to say approximately then you would say tai koi tai koi so if, for example if you want to say approximately three feet then again you would say tai koi sam te so just insert any of the measurements after dai koi then you would have approximately whatever measurement next is another uh, um, uh, more senior people in which if you're referring to like let's say the head boss uh, of a large um, corporate let's just say then you could say dai ban dai ban now this is actually rarely used but sometimes when they refer to a very, very big boss within a big corporation, then sometimes you would say Dai Ban. But it's actually not that oftenly used. Now, another word for approximately, you know, you have learned Dai Koi, right? Another word for approximately or about is Dai Ye. Dai Ye. And this can be used interchangeably with Dai Koi. So if you want to say uh, uh, approximately three feet, you could say Dai Koi Sam Chek or Dai Yuk Sam Chek is the same thing. Now if you want to say loud in Cantonese, you could say Dai Sing, Dai Sing or Dai Sing as well. Dai Sing. So there's two ways to say the same thing, but informally, uh, you would say more or less Dai Seng more than Dai Seng, but you know both works depending on how you want to pronounce it. If you want to say um, lie in Cantonese is Dai Wa, Dai Wa. Now the next one um, is more or less is if you want to say vast majority or mostly, then you would say Dai Bo Fun. Dai bo fun. So, for example, if you want to say the majority of people, then you would say Dai bo fun yang. Dai bo fun yang. If you want to say main door in Cantonese, then you would say Dai moon. Dai moon. And this refers to entrance usually as well so if you want to say entrance or the main door or the front gate or whatever that's the main exit or the main entrance you would say Dai Moon Dai Moon and uh, lastly another word that use the word the character Dai is uh, uh, the mainland or continent uh, uh, in Cantonese in which we pronounced Dai Lo Dai Lo now, of course, Dai Lo in Cantonese usually refers to mainland China in, uh, in Cantonese language, but by definition, Dai Lo actually means great continent or just continent in Cantonese. Now, if you like the content and you like the knowledge that you learn, please like and subscribe to our channel as well as if you have not done so already, I recommend you to download our Cantonese learning app in which the link is in the description below. 
So this app contains the flash de uh, flashcard decks as well as the quizzes of the words that you have learned in this lesson as well as um, the other lessons that I have offered in my channel. Also, if you have any other learning questions or uh, want to connect with other people who are learning Cantonese uh, the same as you, please join our community Discord channel um, in which I will be there as well as uh, other learners will be there to answer your questions as well as to mingle. And of course, the Discord channel link is in the description below as well. Now, thank you for listening. I'll see you in the next lesson.